I think I was in the stage where I wasn't even telling anybody. I didn't say anything to others. And so it was a pretty lonely situation at that time. Caregivers often feel isolated and alone. And when they come to our groups, they experience a real sense of relief that they're not alone, that other people are experiencing the same emotions, the frustration, guilt, perhaps anger, and those emotions are normal. But everything I had been critical of myself about in caregiving, the frustration, the fatigue, the impatience, I felt was validated. I wasn't the only one experiencing these feelings and I now had a support system that I could rely on. I could phone someone, I could email someone, I knew where to get more information. Yeah, what's your where were you at three in the morning? <laughs> this is one place where you can let your hair down and no one is going to judge you. I mean it's panic stations when um, a person with Alzheimer's um, does something that is frightening, but after it's over, and when you tell someone else, it's just a laughing matter. Great relief to have a good laugh. So this is the resource guide for family caregivers. Do you want to share? I came out of there, I, I would say, uh, more hopeful, a little more courage, a little bit less lonely. Maybe want to get to know some of the other guys, some of whom I'm reaching out to now, and we go out for a coffee or a lunch. I have new friends now that I didn't have before um, that add to my life. These new friends are walking the same journey, and we give one another that courage and the hope for the future. <laughs>